A few things are coming down the pike here. Wait, when we talk about the investigation to Hillary Clinton's email, soon we're going to get access to her notes that led to the FBI's decision not to recommend charges against Hillary Clinton in the e email scandal and investigation. Now, the Bureau will make some of its investigation public as early as today. So what could it mean for the Democratic nominee? Let's talk to former FBI agent Chad Jennings, uh, Jenkins, who is also a former U.S. Army Ranger and founder of the Jenkins Group. Uh, first off, Chad, what do you think we're going to learn from these notes. It's not a transcript. Uh, correct, Brian. It's not. And I think you're, we're going to see a lot of the uh, information the FBI has, but they've already stated it's not going to be the entire report. It's going to be what they decide to release from that information. I think hopefully what comes of this is that we will see that the American people can decide whether probable cause was met that, that Hillary Clinton possibly conducted uh, criminal activity. Uh, I think oftentimes Director Comey during his testimony pointed to the fact that there was not beyond a reasonable doubt to uh, submit that a crime had been committed, but let's not forget for an indictment, for a federal indictment, the, the standard of proof is only probable cause. You know what's so interesting, and Chad, maybe you could just shed some light into this. She was told to hand over everything that was work-related. She's handed over 55,000, she says, deleted 30,000. The FBI says, I know there's something else out there, and went to other email boxes, went back to other, other things that were left in the frame and some cyber, uh, some cyber talk, and got thousands more on their own. Right there, I have trouble if I'm investigating and wondering if my subject is being candid with me. Do you have that same feeling? Absolutely. And when we look at that, how is that not intent to hide and mislead and flat out lie? I mean, we talk about uh, General Petraeus and him hiding the binders full of classified information. How is this any differently? The only difference is we haven't uncovered the 14,000 that are still missing. We don't know what's on there. If that's not intent to, uh, to be deceitful, I don't know what is. It's also, too, now we find out that amongst those emails are 30 that have something to do with Benghazi. And I'm just wondering, is there a thought in your mind, Chad, that this might actually be good for Hillary Clinton, the more light that's been shed on? Because so far, it hasn't been. Well, I mean, all of the light that is permeating from this, I, I think hopefully for the American people, the biggest thing we can take from this is getting as much knowledge as we can so that come November, uh, uh, people and educated people can make the right decision to uh, put forth honorable people in office. Right. And if people want uh, Donald Trump to be candid about his taxes, uh, first they have to find out if Hillary Clinton will be candid about what she did as Secretary of State. Uh, Chad, thanks so much. Thanks for your service to the country. Hey, thanks, Brian. All right, coming up straight ahead. Here's an interesting way to fight crime. How about put serial numbers on bullets to trace them back to the city?